And no matter what angle you're at, there's always there's always some part of your sculpt that's going to be fairly dark. So what can we do about this to make things a little bit easier and a little bit more modern, perhaps? If you look at some other applications, like for instance, alias design, where people have been designing automobiles for years and years, their default view, like if you're just laying down some basic shapes, their default view is to use an environment map and to do essentially image-based lighting. Autodesk's Fusion 360, the same thing. You know, you're in just like a regular modeling view and they're using environment maps. And then of course, if you're doing something in ZBrush, your next, your next step may very well be Substance Painter and the only lighting in Substance Painter is image-based lighting. So that gets us thinking, hey, maybe we can improve our situation and be a little bit more in line with some of their applications by using some image-based lighting. And you can look at a lot of things. They've got like built-in lights you can set up and some HDR backgrounds that you can do. ZBrush is a little bit, I don't want to say behind the times, but their HDR engine is not quite where it could be. So probably the easiest thing to do is to load a straight up environment map. So what you can do is you can go to light, Actually, while we're here, we're going to turn down the main light a little to you know, something fairly dark. And then we're going to go to environment maps. And they've got a specular map and a diffuse map. And we're going to go ahead and actually we're going to set this to like, I don't know, 0.65 or something like that. Somewhere in that region. And we're going to click on import. And we're just going to pull up a diffuse map here. So let me wend my way to where some images are. And we're just gonna grab, oops. We're just gonna grab uh, this gray sphere here. So same situation as before, where we can go ahead and sculpt on this. But if we're sculpting down in these areas, we can actually sort of see where this, where the shadow begins and ends. And if we're putting some detail down in here, we can actually, you know, we can, we can see this detail you know, pretty easily, like even if we're kind of on, on the edge, sculpting on the edge, making our silly moon here. And we'll dial in, you know, we'll dial in kind of like a big change. So even as you're grabbing, grabbing big pieces of this geometry and moving it, you can still get a really good impression of what your sculpt is looking like. And then as you're, as you're rotating, you can see, you know, the highlights sort of playing, playing off your sculpt. And you're almost never wondering like, oh gosh, you know, what is, what is the geometry looking like? So pretty handy, pretty handy in that regard. Even if the detail disappears, you can still kind of see what's going on. Even if you're doing some human anatomy with this setup, you can still very clearly see what you're sculpting on. So you've got, you know, the ability to see details kind of at all angles. And even even with this fairly aggressive shadow, which I've often turned down on occasion, uh, you're still not wondering what, what's going on. So, so there you go. So that is probably one of the better ways to get lighting set up in ZBrush. And I can sort of show what that looks like with the lighting, the HDRI light off. And as we pull in the environment map, we can even make it like super bright. You know, that is the effect. And you'll notice that as you turn it up, you actually get this really nice kick light, which sort of lets you see where this form turns, turns away before it turns into the shadow. So that's kind of another option is to even brighten up the environment, environment map a little bit. And that gives you the ability to see those areas before they do turn into into darkness. Let's see if we do a quick shadow pass. That's kind of how that looks with the BPR. So anyway, so there you go. So that is a very fast way to set up accurate lighting so you can always see what you're sculpting in ZBrush and it's quite a bit better than the built-in light. I will have this environment map linked in the comment to this video. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. All right, talk to you later.